Hi, I'm Lassie and I'm teaching people on metal shaping and we are back here on YouTube again with some tips and tricks and I think you will be interested to learn this. This is uh, on this video here we are going to show you how to make a tapered uh, bead. So it means that it's wider and then it's going to be narrow and narrow. And uh, how do you do that with two pairs of dies because it's, it's going to be the same width of the dies. So I, we had this issue a long time ago and I figured out how to do it so we can get it tapered. And many cars, they actually have a little tapered bead too. And I don't recommend to cut in the center of the bead and, and cut a little off and then put it together again and then weld it and grind it and hammer and all it. That's a lot of work. It's an easier way to do it. <clears throat> and I always look for, for things to make it easier for me. So you can see this panel here. This is not so much, but you see that this is wider here and narrow in the end here. So what we do, we're going to do this bead first, okay? So we're going to make it from, from here and up to the center there. So that means that we're going to make the, the, the bead like this first, okay? So we run that bead first to the guide and then we're going to trim this edge so much that we want it to be tapered. So nothing up here and maybe, let's say a quarter inch or 316 here. And we trim that off and I grind that so that is a smooth edge. And then we flip the bottom die around and work on the other side of the, the lower die. And we can use the guide again to this new edge. And it's going to follow that edge, so the bead's going to be tapered. That's what I'm going to do. So we're going to start with this first, on, uh, so I can show you that. So here is just a scrap piece that I have that we can use. And it, it's one nice radius all the way. And what I'm going to use is this setup of dies. So it's a half U profile die on the top and around one inch die on the bottom. So I start with a pretty low pressure, so I gotta get a start because I'm afraid that it's going to be stuck in, in the guide. So I think I'm going to go a little deeper there. What I'm looking for here also is to keep this in flat, in level. Okay, so that's how it looks like now. You see that we have a line here, and that's from this edge of the low, uh, top wheel. And I'm not worried about that right now, because I think when we do the other side of the bead, I can, I can get rid of that. And if I can't, if it's still there, I can take the, the narrow, flat, uh, narrow offset uh, wheel for the English wheel, and I can roll a little, little light in the center to get that line out. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to trim this edge and very little in this end, uh, in, nothing in this end and just a little bit in this end, maybe 316 or something like that. So here is the, the trick here to make this, this to, to trim this off. So if, if I do it with my pen, I can move my, the pen in a little more and a little more the further down I go. So I did, I think I did pretty good there. I think I was lucky that wasn't, that was maybe some experience too, but anyway. So that's what I'm going to trim off with the electrical shear and then I'm going to be back in the bead roller 
and flip the dies around. So I trimmed this edge off and after I trimmed it, it's important that I grind this so this is smooth because we, if this is wavy, it's going to follow the guide and the bead going to be wavy. So make sure that when you cut something like that, you need to, to, to grind it so it's smooth. Then what I did, I turned the top wheel around so it's on the inside now and then I adjust the shaft so I have the same setup as before. Start with a low pressure and I go one time and I'm using this new edge that I trimmed. Go one more time. So as you can see here now that this is tapered, so it's wider here and narrow in the in the bottom here. It depends on how much I trimmed it. You can also see here now that this one is a little angle on it and uh, that can be fixed with two flat dies in the bead roller and then just bend that and keep that in level and I can run that one more time. Um, depends on what this is going to be on, what, what panel this is going to be on. Uh, I can leave it like that. If this would be a rear quarter panel for a car, then this panel will start curving from the bead and it's curving like that, then I can leave it as it is there. If I'm going to shrink this, I need to be very careful and just shrink maybe one eighth of an inch on the edge to, to get a little off on that part there that you see this, this curving here. I need to be very careful. Another solution to that problem would be to, after I Actually, before I did any of the beads, what I could do, I could go in and shrink this part maybe three quarter inch in and just shrink that little before. So it's got little, little convex shape to the panel and then run the beads on it and the bead takes up material and we're dealing with an outer curve. So an outer curve is too long, but I pre-shrunk it. And when you put the bead on there, it will be more straight. So that will solve that problem. But that's the way we do a tapered bead. So that was the trick for today. And if you want more information about hands-on classes, books or DVDs, you can go to www.lessonmetalshaping.com. Thank you for watching.